Listen, there's not much time, and so many thoughts. In those few minutes, your brain swirls with memories, flashes like the projections on a silver screen. Your brain edits the shots like a detective cracking the case at the end of a mystery. Deft match cuts of familiar imagery that at once felt like meaningless detail, now in stark relief. Something as simple as playing the girl in every game followed by you stealing some of your mother's clothes and feeling so happy each time you saw yourself in the mirror. Finally, a dark, stormy night. Your hands clasped to the ceiling and you beg to no one, please, God, just let me be a girl when I wake up. You can feel the pill, you can feel the pill melting under your tongue now. It tastes like vanilla or something familiar. You're surprised it has a flavor at all. As you feel the gritty powder wash down your throat with your saliva, you feel another feeling, and you're haunted by more memories. These not edited, but stitched together like the origin story of a tragic villain. Flashes of hair like a bed of razor wire curl out of trembling calves. The thundering echo of your father. If you wore that jacket, people would think you're the ugliest woman in the world. Finally, your mother calmly accepting you coming out to her face before slithering upstairs to cry to her husband, I should have never had children. It fades to an inky black that sucks you down deeper and deeper and deeper. To an alleyway with a group of very real monsters whose shadows congeal from the blackness twenty feet tall or more onto the bricks that they will redecorate with your blood. Your breath picks up. You feel the panic setting in. Was this a mistake? You think about the possible side effects and the violence and the shame and you don't know if you can bear it anymore. But as you go to spit out the pill, you realize it's already almost gone. Only a tiny pebble is left rolling around under your tongue. The rest is already pumping its way through you. You sigh and you feel a layer like false skin shedding from your body. New memories trickle in, soft, bright memories with the texture of bed sheets. They dance and flow in front of your eyes. You see eyelashes like wings fluttering and blushing cheeks filled with hot, giggling air. It's you, the real you, and you're with him. That smile you met in the strangest of places who cradles himself around you as your shield. That soothing voice that washes over you like bubbling waves of some magic elixir that seeps into you. It tiptoes its way through your heart into your cowering brain before plucking out that sludgy parasite that feeds there. You smile as he tells you he loves you over and over and over and whispers to you that you're beautiful. You watch as the memories that haunt you get dragged out to sea. And you lean in to kiss him. You see your face and his get closer and closer together. And as your soft lips lock and your eyes close on his beautiful, beautiful face, everything melts away. You swallow the other pill and wash it down with a sip of water. The end of something and the beginning of another.